Now, the subway system in the Korean capital is generally pretty tidy, despite the crowds. But its newest addition to start running this weekend can go one step further and claim a visual aesthetic of its own. The Ui line is completely free of commercial advertisements, and instead it's filled with culture. Our Lee jung -yun reports. Seoul is unveiling its first light metro in the northern area of the capital this weekend. Connecting the Uidong area to the more central area of Shinseol-dong, it has 13 stops and takes 23 minutes to travel the length of the route. We built this new line to resolve the imbalance between the different districts of Seoul. Our ultimate goal is to make subway stops accessible within 10 minutes, wherever you are in the city. What distinguishes the Ui metro line from the lines that precede it is that it's a culture railway. As the name suggests, it's filled with artworks and information on the city's cultural events. Artists featured in the stations include well-known painter Chung kyung -ja and graphic artist Kim young -na. The subway is a place where people move about every day. We wanted to provide the public with a chance to immerse themselves in culture on a daily basis and make this place enjoyable for them. Art is not only visible in the stations, but also inside the cars themselves. This train is called the Running Gallery. Here, commuters are free of advertisements that bombard their daily lives, but instead can enjoy pieces of art during their journey. Works by disabled artists Jung Eun-hae and Jung do -un are featured in the Running Gallery. Displaying such art inside the train gives the public a chance to really become one with art. There are also plans for a running library, running concert hall, and even running botanical garden. As such, organizers hope that subways, used by crowds of people each day, can continue to be a platform for promoting art and culture in Seoul. Lee Jong-yeon, Arirang News.